I think you are a very good thinker. And uh, I wish, you know, we all had a little more of that. So what, um, anything that you do or the way you go through things uh, could be on the literature, but could be just in, in, in general too. Uh, any way we can improve our critical thinking? Yeah, um, well, I'm the first to admit I'm not a, 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 a uh, I haven't necessarily had a training as an applied nutritionist. Mm -hmm. so, that's, so when I look at nutrition, at, um, the way I look at nutrition, I look at it through the physio, through an eyes of the pig's physiology. What are we trying to manipulate or what are we trying to change? And so, and so that's one way that you can think a bit differently. Okay, well, what are we trying to achieve here if we change the diet from X to Y? or we want to use this product. What's this product going to do to the host? How are we going to manipulate whether it's a reproduction outcome, whether it's lean tissue accretion, whether it's disease susceptibility or whatever. And so look at it from the lens of the host or of the, of the pig, in other words. What's the pig's physiology telling us? And, and then what are we trying to manipulate? And does it make biological sense by adding X? Does it actually, is it had any chance to change Y? It could be cause or effect, but then, so you start thinking that way. Um, so I challenge my students to think that way. I mean, we do feed formulation, but we don't do a lot of it. We do, we do a fair bit of it, but not, not as much as other groups. Because mm -hmm. we're trying to manipulate the pig's physiology. We're, at the end of the day, we're in the lean tissue game. If, for pig production, we are trying to create pork. That's lean tissue. So whatever we think about, We've got, at the end of the day, we've got to make sure meat quality and, or pork quality and lean tissue is actually at the forefront of what we're trying to do. And, and that includes on the reproduction side because numbers born alive, et cetera, that's absolutely critical. Uh, the other thing that I encourage my students to do is um, I expect them to be at the barn to do a lot of the work on their projects because if they see an anomaly in their data sets, in other words, pigs go off feed or something happens because of power, or we've had power outages, we've had storms, derecho storms this year and so forth. Mm -hmm. Well, they, can, they know that the problem that the data set is, is that because we had some influenza come through or these pigs came in under this health status and they just were very slow to get started or they got chilled. And so I think having eyes on the barn, on the research and actually seeing, looking at what the pig tells us Mm -hmm. um, especially for my students, they can see that is, is absolutely critical for them to help interpret their data. Mm 